Dun, 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 dun. Hi guys and welcome to a new episode on this channel. Today we'll be talking about this book called "Who Was Martin Luther King Jr." Now I already made a video about this on another book. Just check it out right there. But for now, today we'll be talking about the big hit in Martin Luther King Jr. <laughs> Yeah, all the news and all that stuff, and also the one with the best photograph time when the speeches, such as this guy, and everything else in it, and its timeline. His timeline for the who was guys. Well, was born in nineteen twenty nine, nineteen twenty nine of some January January fifteenth, and literally everything like that. Now, if you really want to ask me about anything, if you want. Ask me in the comments below. But for now, I guess Martin Luther King Jr. is we're gonna work for now, and yeah, let's just get started. As I said earlier, Martin Luther King Jr. was one of his best photographed people of his time, and he had a very good family. First of all, he was the second of all children, and he was the middle one. This is Martin. This is his older sister, and this is his younger brother. And his father, coincidentally, is also named Martin Luther King Sr. The, both of their names, the father and son, were first were first、oh, not Martin but Michael. And then, and later, when Martin Luther King Jr. was just five years old, they decided to change it to Martin in honor of the in honor of Martin Luther, the priest. Um. Well, I already made a video on Martin about on Martin Luther, a priest who put like those ninety nine, I think, some some things on not some hammered some things on a door on the church, and then it was a lot, and it went a lot like that. And his father was a preacher, and so was his grandfather, and constantly all of those three people were called Martin Luther King. And that was very coincidental. Then, and another thing is that、uh, Martin loved to sing, and also he loved his church. He was even part of the choir of his the local church. This is his church, by the way, and I do not like these dots. Bad, bad artist, if I call this, but yeah. And then. And then one day there was a friendship between Martin and a white boy who lived right whose shop was right across them. And then when they started school, they were. And then when they started school, his father was like, "Huh, he's bad trouble." So he had to go away. And everything, everything just went on and on about that. Whoa. And if you just want to ask me here, if you want to ask me here, it's pretty nonsense and all that stuff, but. But I guessing that this was just normal view of other people during the bat during those days. But I don't really like this a lot, so yeah. What? Now, as an earlier thing that I just say here, Martin Luther King Jr. A lot of people know him for like I have a dream guy, and he. This is the cover of this book is about his is him in the. Scene of his speech, giving out a speech, and I guess this is pretty cool and all that stuff. I stop moving. Good. And this is what a lot of people. This was what he done, in front of a lot of people, say a speech. But we'll get back to that in a moment. And then he started to grow up with segregation. Segregation. And then these were all called Jim Crow laws. First of all, and why Mr. C- why Jim Crow? Well, it was because of this. In the in a lot in the eighteen thirty、uh, after the Civil War and after and before the Civil War and during, there were some popular plays called Jim Crow, and、uh, and it was like this: an actor charcoals him up with charcoal to make sure he looks like a black, and then he does silly dances that mocks the black people, and then he said, and then. And then it talks a lot about, and then he ends it with the term "I jump Jim," and I jump Jim Crow. <coughs> and then finally Jim, and then finally these people become, become Jim Crow. 
become Jim Crow laws and Jim Crow was like it is said that Jim Crow was like the character of the play the owner of that owner of that slave all that stuff and he was very unfair and all that stuff so yeah that's exactly what I mean by that all the Jim Crow laws are abolished and nothing is gone how did I do this well just for now I have to say that just for now, I want to say that this is very cool and all that stuff. And then later, Martin Luther King Jr. started to go into the North again a little education. There he met Coretta Scott. Coretta Scott. And then later, they were married. His father was the one who married them. His father was the one who married them. And then they were married in the South, but then they had to go back north to finish their studies. <laughs> Martin had to go back to Bar Boston University. And Coretta had to go back to her work as a music teacher. Now, I have to really say that Martin Luther King is very impressive because he already skipped two grades. And that's whopping. And then, finally, a very little romance would come in. Martin Luther King Jr. and Coretta Scott got a baby. And she was named Yoki. It was a she. And then Rosa Parks was arrested and everything else. Then there was the Montgomery Bus Boycott. Montgomery Bus Boycott. This was organized by Martin Luther King Jr. himself. And Rosa Parks was, after she was released, she was part of it too. And then nobody, a three quarters of blacks, a three quarters of passengers in the buses, all buses were black. So yeah, business failed for the buses. And the segregated buses were gone. And then they started doing sit-ins where they protested peacefully for segregation of nothing. And then John F. Kennedy, or JFK as his nickname was, tried to help Martin Luther King Jr. But then, before he could even do the Civil Rights Act, he was... But before he could do anything about it, he was, he was assassinated. And then... But before that assassination, before that assassination, there was a protest and all that stuff. All that. And he, he was finally done with everything. He was done with everything. And then finally, finally, one day, one day, he delivered his I have a dream speech. I have a dream speech. Right here. I have a dream, and he used very powerful words to give bravery to all those people. And then, and then finally, the Civil Rights Act was was signed by President Johnson, and he says it's the greatest way to memorize, and it was his greatest way to like honor President Kennedy Kennedy's memory. By the way, John F. Kennedy's daughter is still alive, so I guess you can check her out or something. <coughs> And finally, there was a protest. The President John was, Johnson was like, alright, I'll send some troops to protect the protesters. And everything went kablamo. And then, the last protest by Martin Luther King Jr. became a violent one. Became a violent one. Even, and some black people were like, hey, let's use violence against violence. And then, that went out pretty badly. A lot of them were killed. And then finally, and then Martin Luther King Jr. got moved into a house in a poor black community. And then his children were like getting tantrums. And then it went on like that. Finally, one day after a riot, an accidental riot, um, Martin Luther King Jr. went out to have dinner. to stepped out of his room of 306 in his hotel and he was shot by James Earl Ray. This bad boy and a criminal. And he was not pretty. So yeah, it went on like that. And his legacy will never be remembered. He was sentenced to jail for 99 years. And that was pretty cool. And then finally, his dream lives on. His wife, until 2006 to her death, she continued the work of her husband. And she gave out all the power speeches that Lincoln could, sorry, that Abraham, sorry, that Martin Luther King Jr. could have done. But she was dead. And finally... We still have racism today, and and Martin Luther King Jr.'s childs are still putting up the legacy. And then we still remember him today.
please like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next episode. Shun Han out. Peace.